Here's how you know that you don't love someone, but instead simply like the idea of them. You might have heard this before, and you are aware of the concept of falling in love with the idea of love itself. And this idea reminds me of something that philosopher Slavoj Zizek once said. He mentioned that if you find yourself having to come up with reasons to justify why you love someone, it might be a sign that you don't really love them. Okay, so let's break it down. Love is this quirky, irrational thing. It doesn't fit neatly into categories or check boxes like they're completing a job application. It's more like their unique type all by themselves. And you can't exactly pinpoint what makes you love them. You just do. Okay, so consider the scenario. You're in a relationship with someone and they have many qualities that you appreciate. You make a list of all the things that you like about them, how they make you laugh, their intelligence, their kindness, and their shared interests. You believe these reasons justify your love for them. But here's the catch. Love doesn't always adhere to a list of criteria. And if you've ever listened to an influencer tell you that you can manifest a specific type of partner, like someone who is rich, caring, thoughtful, and strong, and six foot tall, that's the easiest way to fall into this trap. Because you cannot put a face on someone you love, nor a criteria or a short list of things that they need to possess for you to love them. Love is messy, it's complex, and often defies reason. It's not about ticking off boxes on a checklist. It's about a deep emotional connection, a sense of belonging, and an unexplainable bond that draws you to that person. It's like trying to describe why your favorite song moves you to tears. You can't always put it into words, right? So let's explore this with an example. Imagine you're in a relationship with someone who loves hiking and you're not particularly into it. You make an effort to enjoy hiking with them because you want to share their interests. You even had hiking to your list of things you like about them. However, over time, you find yourself less enthusiastic about hiking and it begins to feel like a chore. In this scenario, you might start questioning your love for them. Are you with them because you genuinely love them or for who they are? Or are you rationalizing your feelings based on shared interests? It becomes clear that while shared activities can enhance a relationship, they shouldn't be the sole foundation of your love. Moreover, love should never feel forced. If you're constantly trying to convince yourself that you love someone or you find yourself saying, I should be with them because they're a great person, it might be time for some introspection. Love should flow naturally like a river, not be something you need to build a dam to contain. Think of it this way, if you have to actively make a case for why you love someone, it might be an indication that your heart isn't entirely in it. Authentic love doesn't require a defense attorney. It's self-evident in your emotions and actions. Let's explore another example to illustrate this point. Imagine you're in a long distance relationship and you often find yourself missing your partner. You make a list of all the reasons why you love them, like their sense of humor, their supportive nature, and the way they make you feel special. While these reasons are valid, genuine love goes beyond that. It's not just about missing someone when they're not around or appreciating specific qualities. It's about an innate connection that transcends physical presence. If you're only relying on a list of reasons to justify your love, it might not be a deep heartfelt connection. Love is about embracing the complexities of human emotions. It's about accepting that sometimes you can't fully explain why you love someone. You just do. It's about feeling that undeniable chemistry, understanding each other on a profound level, and being there for each other through thick and thin. To sum it up, if you ever find yourself in a situation where you're more infatuated with the idea of love or you're constantly rationalizing your feelings, take a step back and reflect. Love should feel genuine effortless and unconditional. It's not about creating a checklist or justifying your emotions. So the next time you question whether it's true love or not, remember that authentic love doesn't need a reason. It's a feeling that speaks for itself. I'll see you on the next one.